Well, certainly I think everyone goes to Holiday Inn Express and thinks about Holiday Inn Express as, as the epitome of a perfect execution of, of a brand extension uh, where they had a great legacy brand that was losing some of its luster and they revitalized the whole brand through, through that brand extension that, that really met the changing guest needs uh, of that time. Well, I think the uh, two major success examples in the industry are Marriott and Hilton. Uh, they've created, number one, a tremendous awareness in the marketplace, not only in the consumer minds, but in the developer and in the investor mind, and also in the lending community, a solid as a hotel and as an investment. So, so you always have in the industry an operating business approach versus making the investment work. Marriott, over the years, has successfully tiered off into brand family, additional brands, to uh, capture different levels of the tier. So they're meeting consumer demand at the high end, the mid market, the lower end of the market, and even working toward the budget end of the market. And the consumer has an identity with Marriott and Hilton brands. So as they continue to introduce brands, they're gonna be definitely very accepted in the marketplace. So I think a really good one is, uh, is, is Autograph, right? Because what, what they were able to do is they were able to use the Marriott umbrella and they're able to bring in assets that otherwise would not really fit in any kind of, uh, in any kind of brand, right? So for example, if you, if you go to a downtown market, like I think there's, a, uh, there's one I stayed at in downtown Atlanta, which I really just couldn't see it being another brand unless it went to like a boutique like a Kimpton or or, or something else. So I think that was a really, really good good play. And it's it, now it's interesting to see other brands rolling out similar concepts. I just met with the, the Hilton folks down at, at NYU. They just rolled out Curio. And I think that will be, uh, that'll be something that we'll be continuing to see where they've got some soft branding options, where there's already an existing product in the market that probably has um, regional or local, local market appeal, and now layering on top of that, let's say Marriott, Hilton, Intercontinental, uh, Wyndham, whatever else it, it looks like. Um, I, I think we've got Ascend with, uh, with Choice. So bringing in um, those loyal guests from that brand into a property who otherwise would not have seen um, that kind of a bump in performance. So I think those are some pretty good examples of, of for me, what the right extension looks like. I think that was, a, that was a home run for them. From my experience, I would, I would choose probably the Aloft brand, um, which I think immediately was recognizable to people that were familiar with W. Um, and from a developer standpoint, it's an easy build. Um, the specs are easy to follow, uh, the vendors are already set up, so um, I think developers appreciate that. Um, when you're building a spec aloft, uh, you just need the footprint um, and everything else seems to follow after that. Um, and then it, it, from an operation standpoint, past development, it becomes easy to maintain. You know, I think the brand extensions, I think the, the, the strongest ones that I have seen are probably more focused on a kind of blended product. Uh, so whether it was Staybridge that came out and filled a larger extended stay need, right, or it was the home twos that went down the path and built a more efficient extended stay need, I think that those are the ones that are taking place. People are looking for more convenience, more space, um, easier opportunity, and, and I think still location just drives business. Well, I think uh, guests have been very happy and, and we have as, as a lender um, in financing um, Holiday and Expresses. Um, they've always done a really super job, I think, and uh, Marriott uh, Courtyards, um, in my experience, I think, has been a, a super brand. In one word, I think it was Holiday Inn Express. It took advantage of a, of a great Holiday Inn Core product. Uh, they launched the Express, uh, a limited service chain that then, then launched uh, a myriad of others that have followed uh, with every brand that's out there. So I'd, I, I look at what Holiday Inn did. Uh, back in the 90s to, to, to define where we are today in this industry. You know, th there's, there's been some brands created recently that I think have been successful and, and will continue to be successful in the near future. So 
um, you have your original brand creations or, or brand extensions from, uh, let's say, for example, Marriott, Le Courtyard and Residence Inn, uh, but your newer examples like a loft and element from Starwood um, or, or some of the um, uh, kind of second, second generation brands that are, 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 uh, are on its way to be successful. So I think time will tell uh, eventually which ones will, will be successful. Um, but your original brands like Courtyard and Residence Inn coming from the core brand Marriott have obviously one of the first to do it. Um, but your second generation brands like Aloft and Element created by Starwood, uh, the proof is still in the pudding to see if these, these guys will be successful. Probably one of the best is the Hilton Garden. I mean, the, they've just done an excellent job. Um, Marriott Spring Hill Suites. I mean, they're they're sort of an extended stay. They're they're doing just a, a wonderful job of, of bringing those types of properties to the market. So those are probably two of the best examples that come to mind.